Number six, the humps on cows store water. What they actually do is store fat. This boy lived in a bubble for 18 years. Jimmy Livingston was born with no immunity, so he had to be kept isolated. His parents made him a plastic bubble that he couldn't get out of, and they could only touch him with gloves. When he was 16, he was attracted to his neighbor Chloe, who he could see through his window. When his overprotected mom found out about this, she warned him that if he touched her, he would die. As the years went on, Jimmy and Chloe became friends. Until one day, Chloe gave him news that left him really sad. She would be leaving soon to marry her fiance at Niagara Falls. Since Jimmy was in love with her, he decided to make a suit, so he could go outside and interrupt the wedding. A few days later, he arrived just in time to interrupt the wedding. Then he confessed his love for Chloe and got out of the suit and kissed her. His mother arrived just in time to see him and told everybody the truth. Jimmy was perfectly fine. She was just holding him captive to keep him away from the rest of the world. In the end, Jimmy forgives his mother and ends up marrying Chloe. A musical instrument that could be played without touching it. The theremin was invented by accident in 1920 by the Russian musician and scientist Leon Theremin. He was creating a device that could measure the density of gases, but realized what he made produced sound that changed according to your hand position. The instrument consists of a box with two metal antennas on the sides and oscillators that control the frequency and amplitude of sound. The electrical signals produced by the instrument are then sent to a loudspeaker. The first antenna is on the right, which controls the pitch. The closer you place your hand, the sharper the sound is. The farther you move your hand away from the antenna, the louder it will be. The theremin has been used several times times to create themes for television shows, and was played in the 70s by Jimmy Page, who's the founder of the Led Zeppelin band. Why making fun of this guy can get you life in prison. In Thailand, you can go to jail for 3 to 15 years if you defame, insult, threaten, or criticize the king of Thailand, his wife, and close relatives because it's illegal. The 3 to 15 years will be for each insult the person makes. Here are some examples. In 2007, a Swiss man got drunk in Thailand and spray-painted portraits of the king for fun. He was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2008, an Australian wrote a book about the scandalous romances of the Thai royal court. I was arrested when they arrived at the Bangkok airport during a trip to the country. Sentenced to 3 years in prison. In 2009, a Thai woman was arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison after giving a speech where she mentioned the royal court and they found it offensive. Finally, in 2017, a 34 year old man created 10 Facebook posts that were insulting to the royal family and he was sentenced to 70 years in prison, giving him 7 years for each post. The 5 Most Funny Design Fails This is an ad for the mattress, but the guy isn't even laying on it. In order to use these scissors, the instructions say to cut the cable with scissors. You would think the inside of the left one is blue and the inside of the right one is red, but it's actually the opposite. On the red one, you could see it says blue. This maze is called Amazing, but it's not really amazing, because the only end and finish is right here. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, each animal says what to feed it to keep things separate. For example, the lion says feed me plastic and cans. But the thing is, those are terrible things to feed them and kids might actually think that's what they eat. Chilling facts about the Titanic that you didn't know. In 1912, on April 14th at 11.40 p.m., the Titanic hit an iceberg causing damage to the ship. And after a couple hours, it broke in two and sank completely. While the ship was sinking, the crew sent emergency signals that were picked up by two ships. The SS Californian, which was the closest to the Titanic, and the RMS Carpathia, which was farther away. The Carpathia was the one that came and saved the passengers who survived the sinking. But if the Californian had responded to the emergency call, it could have saved more lives or even all of them. The Titanic had the capacity for 60 four lifeboats, but in the end only 20 boats were used. The actual number of people who passed away is unknown, but it's estimated that there was around 1,518 people. The names of all the passengers are also unknown. In the investigations, they found out that lots of them were traveling under false names, which is why some of the tombstones have no names. Amazing treasures that were found by accident. In 2006, a fisherman got his anchor stuck on a giant clam and soon realized there was a large pearl inside of it. Ten years later, he gave it to his aunt who gave it to the mayor to show off at a museum. They then realized how valuable the pearl was. Because the pearl weighed 34 kilograms and was 30 centimeters wide by 67 centimeters long, with a value estimated to be around hundred million dollars. The Crater of Diamonds is located in Arkansas and is open to the public so they can go and find their own diamonds. In 1924, W. O. Basham was lucky enough to find an 8 gram diamond, which became the largest ever found in the United States, and in 1971 it was sold for $880,000. According to an urban legend, Atari threw out a bunch of its systems into a garbage dump. So Joe Lewandowski, the owner of the garbage company, found records of where the garbage went and invested $50,000 into a search. It turns out that the legend was real and he was able to sell them all over the world for almost $108,000. Unsolved mysteries that have footage. On March 31st, 2006, medical student Brian Schaffer disappeared in the middle of the night when he was with his friends at a bar named Ugly Tuna. That was the last time he was ever seen and the bar's surveillance camera served as evidence. It shows Brian talking outside the bar before going back inside, but he was never seen leaving. Detectives found no trace of Brian nor did any other surveillance cameras around the site. Some people say the cameras weren't working or they were manipulated, but so far nobody knows anything. On March 18th, 2009, Claudia Lawrence had a phone call with her mother and that was the last time they spoke. The next day, she did 
didn't arrive at work and no one heard from her since. The police discovered that only her purse, phone, and chef's uniform were missing from her house. So they thought she went to work like usual. Surveillance camera footage from the street next to her house shows a suspicious man dressed in black walking around her house around 7.15pm. He then disappeared then a minute later reappears with a bag. Then stops walking when he notices someone then continues walking after they leave. But no one knows if he had anything to do with her disappearance. Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far, because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 Ryugu which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain, who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the coast guard are then notified while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater and keep your clothes on. Chilling last photos before they went missing. Andrew McCauley's last photo was a self-portrait taken while he was alone in his kayak in the middle of the ocean. At the age of 39, he set out on a journey to be the first person to kayak from Australia to New Zealand. Unfortunately, even though he prepared for 10 years, he was unable to make it. His kayak and camera were found, but there was no trace of him. He was most likely capsized from a wave separating him from his kayak and ended up dying from hypothermia in the middle of the ocean. Chris Creamers and Lisan Froon. In this photo, they're both smiling at the camera with the mountains of El Pianista trail in the background. On April 1st, 2014, they were preparing to to go on the trail. After the trail, the family that was hosting was concerned because they hadn't returned. So they looked around, but they couldn't find them. Days later, on the same trail, they found parts of their decomposed bodies. They think they had a fatal accident, but to this day, their deaths remain a mystery. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first, it looks like one of the thumbs from Spy Kids, but it's actually just a sausage hanging from string in front of a man. At first, it looks like this bartender's wearing a dress, but it's actually just a giant mirror on the counter showing the customer. At first, it looks like this rock is floating in the air, but it's actually in water and the sky's just reflecting off of it. At first, it looks like this guy's a giant on the beach, but he's actually just balancing on a tightrope. Now, before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that makes your Snapchat score look like this and your Snap score look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, at first, this just looks like a brick wall, but if you look close enough in the middle, you can see a cigar. Now comment below if you've seen the Star Wars character that I hid in the video. 5 Disney Secrets You Didn't Know If you look closely, some scenes from different Disney movies are quite similar. This is because the drawings were made by hand, and the animators only make a few changes to create a new scene. Lilo's voice belongs to the actress who played the role of Samara Morgan in the movie The Ring. Since Walt Disney wanted to spend most of his free time at Disneyland, he created a secret apartment on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street, located on the famous avenue that leads to the park's central plaza. The name of the wizard in the movie Fantasia is Jensen, which is Disney in reverse. Simba means lion in the Swahili language, and Boo's real name is Mary because the person who plays is called Mary Gibbs. Finally, Walt ordered to build a bunch of tunnels underneath the park to allow the actors to get from place to place without the public noticing so they wouldn't lose the magic of the place. Sneaky ways airports get you to spend more money. The first thing they do is put the parking ticket at a high price. It's cheaper if you park at a nearby hotel or get a ride by a bus or cab. They also ask you to arrive early to avoid missing your flight. So after checking in and going through security, you'll feel relieved and ready to wait for boarding. And you'll also have plenty of free time to shop. Airports take advantage of this by placing lots of stores in your way, like coffee shops, convenience stores, and restaurants. Most commonly, more stores will be on your right, because most people are right-handed and they tend to look that way more often. Finally, you'll find eye-catching and spacious stores to attract your attention, so you can walk right through with your luggage, while restaurants and cafes will have a quiet atmosphere to make you feel more comfortable and spend more money. The school bus that mysteriously disappeared. In 1976 in Chowchilla, California, 26 children between the ages of 5 and 14 were on their way home on the school bus when they were kidnapped along with the driver. Frederick Newhall Woods and brothers James and Richard Sconefeld came up with an evil plan because they didn't have much money. The school bus left at the same usual time, but on the way, a van pulled up in front of them, and inside were the three men with masks and guns. Once they got control of the bus, they drove for about 12 hours to a quarry 100 miles from Chowchilla. When they arrived, the kidnappers took out the hostages one by one and told them 
them to climb down a ladder that apparently led to a buried trailer. They didn't have good ventilation so they were suffocating. And after 16 hours, the bus driver and the older boys piled up mattresses to get to the only place out, then moved the metal lid the kidnappers had placed and dug to the surface managing to get out from underground. When they got to the surface, the three men were sleeping so it was an easy escape. And two weeks after the kidnapping, the three men were arrested. This man has the longest nails in the world. Sridhar Shalal stopped cutting the nails on his left hand in 1952 when he was just 14 years old. His longest nail was on his thumb, measuring 197.8 centimeters long. In 2014, he got a Guinness World Record for having the longest nails in history on a single hand, with a total length of 909.6 centimeters. Having such long nails has been rewarding for him because of all the recognition he gets, but it's also brought him a lot of negative consequences because of the weight and length of the nails. For example, he has a permanent disability of his left hand, and a lot of pain in his fingers, wrist, elbow and shoulder. But in July 2018, after 66 years without cutting his nails, he decided it was time to do it. They couldn't cut them with traditional nail clippers, so they had to use power tools. Now his nails are displayed in two different locations. Three of them are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in New York, and the other two are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in Amsterdam. Disney closed this water park and the reason why is scary. In 1976, Disney opened its first water park called Country River. It was one of the most popular attractions at Disney World because it had lots of water rides with slides, rivers, and a lake with a sandy bottom. Since it was located in Bay Lake, Florida, it had a unique water filtration system which kept the water clean. But in 2001, the park mysteriously closed, disappointing a lot of people. Disney announced that it was due to remodeling but years went by and it never reopened. And in 2005, they announced that it would remain closed permanently because they didn't have many visitors. Many people weren't convinced with this explanation because there were still tons of people going there. Instead, they believe the reason is due to several fatal accidents that happened over the years. One of them was an eight-year-old boy who was enjoying a ride, an amoeba from the water got in his body through his nose, and it attacked his nervous system which ended up killing him. How KFC was made from a gas station recipe. When Harlan Sanders was six years old, his father passed away, so his mother had to work while he took care of his siblings. In 1930, he got offered a job at the Shell Oil Company to manage a gas station. He quickly got the idea to make more money by making food for drivers passing through the gas station. His food, especially his fried chicken, became very famous. He came up with a technique to reduce the cooking time of the chicken, and also experimented with different spices until he got the flavor that he wanted. He then called it the secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. In 1950, he had to sell his place because of the construction of a new highway which de decreased his customers, which decreased his sales leaving him in debt. After this he got the great idea to create the franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken. He drove around the country selling his recipe and preparation technique to different companies in exchange for 4 cents per one chicken sold. By 1963 there were more than 600 franchises throughout United States and Canada. And finally when he was 73 years old, he sold his franchise to an investment group for what would be over 14 million dollars today. This six-year-old boy became the youngest soldier in World War II. Sergei Alashkov, a six-year-old boy, was orphaned during World War II after German troops arrived and killed everyone in his village, including his mother and brother. Sergei managed to escape with the help of a neighbor and quickly ran into the forest. After a few days, he was found by Soviet scouts who took him to a shelter led by Major Kozelski. Kozelski decided to leave him with the battle troops, and he was soon adopted by Mikhail Vorobyov, who didn't want to send him to an orphanage. Sergei didn't take part in combat operations. Instead, he had tasks like delivering letters and newspapers. He also brought the soldiers whatever they needed, including water, ammo, and grenades. But one of the times he went to deliver the newspaper, he saw suspicious people in a haystack and informed the artillery commander. The people turned out to be German spies who were then neutralized. After the war, Vorobyov raised Sergei, who later got married, had two children, and passed away in 1990. Secret places hidden in Famous Locations Part 2. In the Statue of Liberty, there's a small room located inside the torch. But no one can enter it because that part was damaged by the Germans in 1916. And although it was prepared, they don't allow people in it as a safety precaution. Mount Rushmore is famous for the four sculpted faces of previous American presidents. But behind them is a secret vault. Inside are different historical documents. Like the Declaration of Independence, the biography of the sculptor, and the history of the construction of the place. But no one can access them. Inside Big Ben, there's a hidden room by the bell tower. And although it's no longer in use, it used to be used as a prison for people who breached the code of conduct. The Tower of London is one of the most famous fortresses in the world and home to the yeoman warders. And underneath it there's a pub that you can only enter if you were invited by one of them. Gadgets that give you superpowers. MYO is a bracelet made by Telmic Labs. It allows you to control your electronics with simple gestures. The sensors detect the movements in your arm muscles, and some of its functions are you can control the volume of your music, you can control drones, and you can also play games without the joystick. If you've ever wanted to throw fire with your hands, you can with the Pyro Mini Flamethrower. You put it on your wrist and it lets you throw sparks, flames, and fireballs. It does this by quickly burning tissue. The exoskeleton is a full bodysuit. It has integrated weapons, it's bulletproof, it increases your mobility and strength by taking the stress off your joints and muscles, which even allows people in wheelchairs to stand up and walk.
The scariest coincidence is caught on camera. In Pennsylvania, a body was found by the police in a river while reporters surrounded the area trying to figure out what was happening. One of the reporters interviewed a man named Matthew that lived by the area. When she asked him about the situation, he seemed really surprised and said that he had no idea what had happened. He said it was sad and a good place to hide a body. A few hours later, the police discovered that the body was Matthew's mother. He was later arrested after the police found out that he was in possession of the same tarp that the body was wrapped up in. He was then sentenced to 14 years in prison. The event that started World War One was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand from Austria, which took place when he was being driven away in a limousine. The most disturbing coincidence was the license plate. The license plate number was A111118, which could also be read as November 11th, 1918, which is the date that World War I was agreed on. The happiest prisoner on death row. Joe Arity was born in 1915 in Colorado. He eventually entered the state training and home school for the mentally handicapped at the age of 10. At the age of 21, he left school and boarded a freight car and ended up in Wyoming. At the same time, the police were on the lookout for a person guilty of murder and attempted murder on the two sisters, Dorothy and Barbara Drain. While Joe was wandering around, he was stopped by the sheriff, George Carroll, who thought he was a suspect in the crime. After questioning him, the sheriff said he confessed to the crimes and was arrested. Then Frank Aguilar, who worked for the Drain family, confessed to the crime. Barbara, who was the survivor, of the attack confirmed that it was Frank and said that she had never seen Joe. Joe's lawyer tried to obtain a plea of insanity because three psychiatrists said that he had an IQ of 46 and the mind of a six-year-old. Despite this, Joe was wrongfully sentenced to death and everyone who saw him in jail said that he kept smiling. On the day of his execution, he still couldn't understand what was going on and still had a smile on his face as he entered the gas chamber. Why North Korea is the hardest country to escape. Since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, it's become harder and harder to cross the North Korean border. When his father was in charge, the number of people who crossed the border was higher because the border security was less tight. They could simply bribe the local border control and they would let them pass into China. But when Kim Jong-un realized this, he decided to tighten the security. And now the border patrol can shoot anyone that tries to cross the border. He also had an electric barbed wire fence installed across the border. There's lots of escape rooms, but they're all really dangerous. If anyone manages to reach China, they'll have to stay in hiding because if they're found by the authorities, they'll be sent back to North Korea where they'll be accused of being spies. So instead they have to reach a country where they won't be deported, which is Thailand. When they arrive in Thailand, they must turn themselves in to the authorities to be transferred to that country. It can take them between two to six months to complete this escape, but the people who decide to do it prefer to take the risk rather than continue living in North Korea. Secrets the Royal Guards don't want you to know. They wear those long black hats to appear taller and more intimidating. If they have to go to the bathroom, they have to do it while standing there because they're not allowed to leave their position. They're allowed to move while on duty, but they're only allowed to take 15 steps every 10 minutes. Because standing in one place for too long is bad for their health. If you see them marching towards you, you better get out of the way. Because they'll either carry you away or yell, make way for the Queen's Guards. Their weapons are usually empty unless there's a threat or an emergency. They're trained to faint in the right way so they don't make a ruckus. Which is why if any of them faint, they'll faint forwards and onto their face. They're not allowed to smile or laugh, and if they do, they get $200 taken off their salary. That's why they always have a serious attitude even when tourists try to make them laugh. This five-year-old girl disappeared every night until her father followed her to this house. It took four days for Tom, who's Annie's father, to realize that she wasn't in her room or in the backyard where she always played. When the girl finally showed up, he asked where she was, but she didn't say a word. On the fifth day, Tom decides to follow her without her noticing, but he loses sight of her. On the sixth day, he tries again and this time manages to follow her to her grandparents' abandoned house. He stayed hidden while he watched his daughter greet a female stranger. He then waits for his daughter to leave, then walks up to the stranger and questions her. She was an 80-year-old lady named Linda who ran away from her nursing home because she didn't want to live there. So she wandered the streets with dogs that she adopted until she met the girl who provided her with shelter and met her every day at the same time to give her food. Eventually, Annie's parents gave the house to Linda and later with the help of